How did you meet Tom? Oh, Tom. <laughs> That's what we're like. It's like Romeo and Juliet. Yeah? Yeah, our parents were at war. And we're what like, do you mean? We're in love. <laughs> I don't know. I haven't seen the movie, to be honest. <laughs> I haven't read the play. Um, I ripped off one of his videos. Long story short. <laughs> but it wasn't really. It was a formula everyone was doing. It was like shit nobody says formula. He does shit nobody says in Canberra. Pops up on my YouTube one time. And I don't, I've only been in Canberra once. I'm like, this is really funny. I get all the jokes. I'm like no one's done one on Wollongong yet. I'm going to do one on Wollongong. And that's actually the best way to start is you you smack your local area and then you grow out. Yeah, 100%. Luke, you, uh, Lewis is talking about that. That's what everyone does, yeah. yeah. And so I did shit no one says in Wollongong. I don't know if he saw it or not. You seen it? He Completely has. unrelated to his. And then we both moved to Sydney randomly. I'm doing more stuff. I start filming with Neil because I met him at a stand-up gig. And then my mate from Canberra, Simo, I was living with, is like, oh, I think I think he told me you were up here. I, I was at a house party and he says, oh, I know the Frenchy guy. And then he texted you. That's the he one. Me. He was at a house party. My mate Simo I was living with because he was at like a Canberra house party with Tom was like, Yo, roundabout crew's in the building. Roundabout and crew. I'm like, no fucking way. <laughs> it's the Canberra boy. Yes. Yeah. And then we met. It was kind of like a date. It was like <laughs> in the afternoon at the lo- the shittest pub in <laughs> near where we live, the courthouse hotel. Okay. And we got a beer outside and we just hit it off. We just it was hit love it at off. First yeah. Time. We like we bought a beer age. Second beer, we just got a jug, put two straws in it, <laughs> <laughs> and sit <sipped> from it. <laughs> like Lady in the Tramp. Yeah, man. That's yeah, so funny. No, that's what it's like. Because I, well, that's why I started my YouTube channel. I always actually wanted to do my comedy with someone else. I thought that'd be more fun. And I also thought it'd be better for the comedy to have another brain to bounce off. Although it is good being able to get your own vision out. If you find someone who's like on the same level as you comedically, it makes it better and that's what Tommy is like. He's a different sort of style to me but also we generally find the same shit funny. Yeah. And we can make each other laugh. Yeah, yeah, dumb humor. Yeah. Michael if Jackson anyone jokes, listens to the podcast, stuff. they'll get that. It's so good. Dumb uh, humor. <laughs> dumb humor. I was on a scholarship you found out. So in year three, I got 100% on an English test. So suck my English. And then, yo, that's how fe- quickly I fell off. The same Chinese friend, Kim Chen, <laughs> English not even his first language, he beat me in year 11 English. <laughs> it's not even his first language. He's asking me what a penis is. Next minute, he's beating me in all the English tests. Mate, that's, I was so upset. That's his parents making him study for four hours a night. Yeah, but I smoked him at the, at the public speaking part of it. <laughs> you know when you got to do the speaking? I yeah. fucking smoked those ones. <laughs> What have you learned from Tom when it comes to comedy? From Tom? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> How long do we have? <laughs> yeah. We've got all the time in the- until you need to fly, basically. Well, I always say this. Tom, you're really good at concepts for skits. So I'm like kind of, I don't want to say hack, but pretty hack at the skits. It's like, oh, that's just a low-grade concept. That'll fucking work. People laugh. Tom's like really smart. Like one, like he did this one. Breaking out of your barista, I always thought it was a really cool concept. You know when you start going to a different coffee shop and you walk past the coffee shop you've been going <laughs> yeah. to? Like yeah. that sort of stuff. Like that Yeah, sort we've of had stuff. a bit of that recently. Haven't Have we? you? Yeah. We've, it's not permanent. It's like, I just want to try something different. <laughs> <laughs> and then you yeah, are like, actually, actually. That's you a, get sick of the same thing every day, don't breaker. you? Yeah. And also sometimes as well. I don't know about you, but it's sort of like in some relationships with some people, they get very complacent. I feel the barista that we we're going to reg- regularly, like, don't even say hello anymore when we come in. It's just oh, like, they don't appreciate you anymore. Yeah. That's what it is. is, And it is like a relationship. It's like the longer you're with them, you're like the same taste for the rest of my fucking life. Yeah. <laughs> You're getting uglier too. You're like you're looking at him going, you're getting fucking ugly and more unfriendly. You used to come and be like, what's up? Give me shackers. So so back on Tom, you're saying that he's a better writer than you. Oh, <laughs> I think his concepts are oh, definitely better. Really. De- I think his concepts are definitely better. Yeah. I think, um, <laughs> yeah, to be honest, like I think he's got a lot of really – like. We got a mate, Danny, Danny, Danny from Racka Racka. Sorry, Danny, Danny from Racka Racka. Danny rings him up to get like jokes for like roast battles, ideas for skits and pitches for shows and stuff like that. 
never rings me up for that. Just rings me up to chat. But not for, <laughs> it rings him up for writing. I'm like, Danny, I can, so I can the, do writing too. Are you saying that Tom's the brains? I think we are you being established that I got a scholarship and Tom never got a fucking scholarship. <laughs> are so. you living off this scholarship? Or? Uh, it was a half scholarship yeah. and it was because my brother went there. But we, like it doesn't, it, it, who's the brains? Who's the brawn? Does that mean I'm the brawn? <laughs> <laughs> I'll fucking take that. Potentially. I will take that. I don't know. With your uh, look, if you look at your bowling skills, I'd say so. You know, you nearly bowled out Shane Watson. Oh, bro, I would have if my my groin wasn't bad. Oh. I was injured, man. Imagine what I'll do. If fucking, I'm telling you, I need to turn that into a series. Actually, playing against cricketers, I yeah. think that'd be good. That would be a fucking brilliant. No, not playing against cricketers, but playing against ex cricketers. I want to play then against. They have no filter. They don't have to fall under the cricket well, Australia banner. I actually think that could be a cool series. We should try to get someone to sponsor it. Um. Just playing against export stars, to be honest, because mm. like I'm like a jack of all trades and I can play every sport kind of enough. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Every sport enough. But um, you can make it funny enough. Like I, 100%. I, like, Shane Watson was cackling uh, and he's, in between his ball. He, he loved like, it. He, he loved fucking, it. he was, <laughs> he, he definitely had a great time. Exactly, man. So that's why I think it could be a fun series. I need to, I need to try to challenge some more uh, X, X sort of sports people because. They've also got more time on their hands. Yeah. Current ones. Actually, I could do a current one. I've got uh, an NBL dude who's keen from Wollongong. What you need to do is you need to go through people following you and see who's like a blue tick sports person. Oh, go that. for the blue ticks. Yeah. <laughs>